Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of The Lowdown. I'm Johnny Ezeric, and today we have a very special guest, Tate McRae. Hello. Let's lock it up and roll camera. We are actually on set now for your campaign with the Link Buds S. How's it going? It's going great. Um, we have so many different setups here. It's, it's wild what Sony has done. The concept of it is so crazy, and I honestly have no idea how we're going to pull it off. Yay! So your album, congratulations. Thank it's going to be coming out soon. I have been jamming to some of the singles that were out, and I can't wait to listen to the full thing. Thank you. What was the process like, kind of, you know, com you know coming up with the songs and writing this album? It was very stressful because you honestly like you have a hundred million songs that you're choosing from and then you have to basically like narrow it down to 12 of your favorites, 12 that are the most cohesive. I think I'm very proud of it. So, so what is your creative process like when it comes to writing a song? It's like weird because you consider it like work, like when you go into a studio, but it like it can't be like that at all because you have to like really feel something super strongly in order to write anything or at least in like in my opinion. So usually it's like when I'm having a mental breakdown, that's when I like write my best, my best stuff. So let's kind of take it back to the start. You were a dancer from a very young age. Yes. When did the crossover of dancing to singing kind of start? I genuinely thought I was going to be like a backup dancer when I grew up. I, I honestly don't know what quite happened. I just know that I was like a huge fan of writing and poetry and I would always write stories and then one day I when I was 13, I just like posted an original song on my YouTube channel and it kind of blew up. And then I got signed by label and kept on writing and it feels surreal now because, you know, since the pandemic has happened, like I'm finally able to like be an artist for the first time, but it, it's it's weird because my whole life has flipped around in the last like two and a half years. I don't even feel like the same person. <laughs> so you have been on tour. So what was, the, what was your first performance like? Like were you scared? Yeah, of course. I think, I mean, my biggest fear is that like no one's gonna show up, <laughs> like always. That's not gonna happen, don't um, worry. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, the whole tour has been sold out and it's been like the loudest and craziest crowds I could have ever imagined. So it's, I honestly just like love every single one of them so much. And I'm just very, very grateful for them. What would you say the hardest thing of transitioning from making content into your room to being in the spotlight in front of thousands of people? It's crazy because everyone thinks that it's so much different, but I think like the the most difficult part is like not losing that. The authenticity of literally just like what you started it as, as a hobby or just doing it as something you love, that's something that doesn't, is like really hard to carry through, especially with the opinions of every single person in LA and whatever the industry. So I think it's like keeping that original spark that like made you love it in the first place because then it's like, that's what's gonna light it up on stage and make people connect to it. So what is your favorite song from the new album? One song that I like closes the album is like this really classical piano piece that I wrote with Phineas. <gasps> and that's it's, amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I think I, you know, I told him I wanted to sound like the end of a movie, like the credits are rolling. And he like came back and you know, it made the most magical ending ever to the album. So I think that's what I'm like loving right now but uh, there's so many favorites. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so you've had the chance, obviously, to use the Link Buds S. Yeah. How are they? They're amazing. I mean, I always listen to music, like, every second. So wherever I'm going, wherever I am, I'm, like, always, always listening to music, so. Yeah, I'm sure it's nice, too, to be able to kind of, like, have the noise cancellation, just kind of take you out of the, you know, the craziness. Because sometimes Especially it's on, nice to shut things on, out. On the tour bus. Oh, <laughs> I bet, yeah. So many people around. <laughs> When do you think the, you know, I made it moment really was for you? Like, when did it hit home? I think there's some special moments that, like, gave me full body chills. And I was like, this is crazy that this is even my life. I mean, the first time I, I performed after, like, two years in a pandemic, when my song kind of, like, took off, mm -hmm. it was at Lollapalooza. The last time I performed was for 150 people. And I walked out onto the festival stage, like, never had been to a festival before, and there were, like, 30,000 people in the audience. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> like no one told me like what a festival was like. Um, and it was like so surreal because it was the first time that I, you know, had had this 
record that had like blown up and I didn't even realize that it had blown up as much as it did. So it was crazy. Well Tate, thank you so much for chatting with me. I'm so excited and I'm so proud of you. You have been absolutely crushing it and this is just the beginning. Is there anything that you want to, to, say, to say to the YouTube audience? Um, probably just check out my album. I'm so excited. I've been working on it forever. So go listen to that and uh, come see me on tour in September. I already have it on my calendar, so I will be there. <laughs> Thank Hell you, yeah. guys. I will definitely be there. Oh, maybe I'll make a sign. I'll be like, take a sign. Me. That would be perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you, guys, so much for watching. Make sure you check out Tate as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you guys again for another episode of the Lowdown.